No O's. It ain't nothing to me. Yeah. Young Tom Hardy with the movies. Act out smoothly. Make you for the goofies. It's really messy behind me. Pretend like you don't see it. There's like a one window with good light that I could film from and the day is quickly fading. So I had to do it real fast. I didn't have time to clean. Otherwise I totally would have. Hey friends, it's Sarah McGlory and I am here to invite you to come along on a meal prep journey with me. My daughter and I have been wanting to meal prep for a while because it's very easy for both of us to get off track and eat gross stuff when we're not prepared, if there's just not something already ready. There are just too many times when we're busy and we need to reach for something fast and meal prep is the way to go if you wanna be really prepared with options in your fridge. So she and I finally got it together and it turned out really well. Our ratios uh, were good. We had enough food for the whole week and I felt like I spent less money on groceries and it was just an all around success. So. If you are wanting some ideas, then just stick with us. The first thing that we made were health shots. I have been juicing for a little while. I have a pretty nice juicer and we were just thinking instead of buying some of the like anti-inflammatory juices or the energy juices from the store, we could just make a big batch. So that's what we did. We put celery, ginger, turmeric, pepper, cilantro, green onions, and lemons, I think is all we put in there. And we made health shots and they actually turned out pretty delicious. I was really happy with them and so was she and she's pretty picky about how things taste. So I felt like that was a win. <laughs> We just made our shots and now we're going to take one and have you all scared. She's scared too. A little. I put a lot of pepper in there. We use to help. No, with our chairs. Oh. We also made a big pot of Anasazi beans. You could do this with any kind of beans, but we just used two big bags of beans. I prepared the beans with garlic, bay leaves, onion, and salt and pepper. I think I put a little turmeric in there as well, and they were very, very tasty. <laughs> I used the Instant Pot to make a big batch of quinoa and we used the quinoa to go with the beans. Sometimes we use quinoa with vegetables. We did quinoa on top of salads. It was just, it's one of those nice things that can be used in a lot of different ways. The next thing we did was roast vegetables. This time around we roasted Brussels sprouts and asparagus. 
And we just did that with some avocado oil, salt, pepper, onion, salt, and garlic powder on all of the veggies. And then we just roasted in the oven for a little bit until they were crispy and tender in the middle. Then we made a fruit salad. Abigail cut up apples and strawberries, and then we also added blueberries and pomegranate seeds, and then she just squeezed a bunch of lemon all over the top so that the apples wouldn't get brown and the fruit stayed kind of nicer. Then we made a big pot of oatmeal. The oatmeal turned out really well. I just used gluten-free old-fashioned rolled oats. Once the oats were fully cooked, I just stirred in a couple of big tablespoons of peanut butter and some brown sugar and cinnamon, and they were mm, so tasty. Throughout the week, we would just add a little bit of fruit. I love adding like frozen blueberries to oatmeal and raisins or bananas, just you can add whatever. And we've had a couple of really cold mornings, and so being able to just microwave a big bowl of oatmeal and have that ready for the kids was time-saving, and it was really nice. The last thing we made were protein balls. We ended up blending all of the ingredients in our Vitamix blender, which you could do in, in a blender or in a food processor. But we put in medjool dates and walnuts. Then we also added hemp seeds and pumpkin seeds, chocolate coconut flakes, peanut butter, and chocolate chips. They were really mild. They weren't very sweet, but they were really good. The kids loved them. Once again, if things taste too quote unquote healthy, it's kind of a hard sell for kids, but Stella and Miles were all about it. So they enjoyed that as well as Abigail and I. We really felt very successful doing the meal prep. It didn't take long, probably all in all. It took about two and a half hours with both of us working. Usually one of us was like cleaning and the other one was chopping. Um, we just worked as a team. It was really nice to do it that way. If you have someone you can grab to help you meal prep, I think that is the way to do it because it just, it went by quickly. We had music on, we were dancing. It was just really fun. If you're curious about any ratios or recipes that we used, let me know, and the next time I do a meal prep video, I will include all of that in the description box. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you have a wonderful week.